Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Arimala Badmos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell because I'll be drawing, dropping more videos about automation. The intention to, is to complete the Cypress series and still get on to do Java and Selenium and uh, other types of uh, automation tools as well. So initially I, I said I was going to um, just Go ahead and work on locked user and problem user and um, so we can revisit how we can just use one one scenario one feature file to run all four scenarios then look at how we can reuse actions there then also now look at how we can use just one scenario to run all four types of tests but I have um, decided not to do that. I want us to do the locked feature and the problem feature together because it would introduce us to some um, verifications and uh, sort of uh, explicit weights in Cypress. So I would want us to start with a problem user. But before we start, do not forget, um, let us um, get back to our file in our Cypress.json file. Since we want to do problem user now, in a Cypress the JSON file, the um, arrangement that we made. So I we'll have a problem user here. We have problem dot feature. Do not forget the comma. So we have arranged it. So what that means is uh, we would find those three above and we will find locked user not there at all because it now takes is the file um, commands it takes it's it recognizes what is inside the test files remember when we had an arbitrary a wildcard and representation it would show all feature files available but now it only show files stated in the test files so this might be this is one definitely one of the reasons cypress discourages rearrangement of files but when it is necessary you will need to do it. So which means you have to name all your files this way. You have to arrange your files and the ones you leave out will not uh, be featured in the runner. So having done that, let us create the steps. So I uh, modified the steps like checking the problem user should have um, a glitch free login experience, but a bad product page. So if you test this manually, which I had actually logged in, let me just log out and show you the whole process all over again. So <clears throat> if you log in as a problem user, you're going to log in just fine like a standard user. But as you can see, the images are all, the images are the same. So which means we have an issue. And um, in case you're wondering, if we log in as a standard user or even a performance glitch user, we will get something different as you can see. So that points us to what we need to do. So <clears throat> we would log in, just check this. So which means our verification means that when we log in successfully as a problem user, we should be able to see duplicate multiple images that are the same right so that was why i came into the tests and i said i should see the same product images right so let us begin the whole process we can um, select everything and um, we generate the step definition and we go into cypress integration this is a problem folder in the problem spec and steps has been generated. So if we go into that folder at this point, this is logging. So if we go into problem steps, you see it has been generated for us. Um, <clears throat> we will be revisiting the commands page later, but uh, we can use the commands that are available and use it to run some things right so let's use um part of the commands that we've already written before that's the beauty of commands 
even if it's just one or two commands that you create however you create them they are not specific essentially they are not specific to just that um, step file you created them for they are accessible to all spec files unlike when you create um, public when you create class files you have to import it wherever you need them it's not as if they are not accessible but you have to import it first but now you don't need to do any import if i call all these custom commands it would uh, be um, available so we have this launch page right and then we have the insert username the insert password and um, we have the click login button these are like the four standard things that we we'll need so we would um, start putting those here cy dot login button click login button will be the same and password to will also be the same cy dot um, insert password will be the same because the password is the same for all the steps but the problem user will be different so perhaps we now need to create a problem user command so let's quickly create that inside the custom login file so we'll create a problem dot actions you cannot follow this um, class without taking the previous class so let me use this opportunity to say that if you've not seen the previous classes up until now please try to do so so you can have an understanding of what is going on so i would not want to waste much of my time i will just copy the insert password or the instance standard username since it is the same type of um, thing that we want to do so we will where's problems action we'll put this here and say instead problem username instead problem username is the same username field and we'll type in instead of standard username we'll type in problem user right so how did we get problem use problem we got that from the fixtures folder we have problem user here so one more thing we need to do after creating that is to go into our index.json and import that particular file that we just created as a command else we'll get a an error that would say that um, the new command that we created is not a function it will say this insert user problem name is not is a form is not a, a function that would be the error that would have been returned for us if we had not done that i've explained the whole uh, how the dynamics are in my previous videos so please endeavor to watch those videos so um and this part would be um the launch app part so we do this and launch page rather now one of the things i would like you to take note of is the start of the page if you can see every step they have the same thing given i launched the swag the swag lab site if i open any one of them performance given a lot i launched the swag lab site standard given I launched, I launched this uh, lab site. What that essentially tells you is there are common steps. So we could actually put that step in a folder called common. With the implementation that we've done, that we have set our global step definition to be true, we can create a common step here. We can create a folder and we can call that common and in the common folder we can put that common step and it will still work 
So let's put a common step. Common dot steps dot spec dot js. So um, we can copy this. Given this, we can cut it out and put it here. All right. And um, after that, we can remove it from um, other places where it is, like in the standard steps. You can remove it from here. Let's just comment this out for now. And um, in the problem steps as well, we can we just remove it from problem steps. Okay, in performance steps. Do we have it in performance steps yet? So let's see performance steps. In performance steps, let's comment this out as well. So let us run our file and see if it will still pick everything. Now let's watch run problem since we are testing problem. Let's just see if it will pick the step from, remember that we've copied that into the, the common folder now. As you can see, it still launched the site and it started and it launched the step for us. So let's go back and run all three together. And um, it will still launch the site because it will pick that step from the common folder because it is common to all of them. So the same thing with the insert password, since it's the same password that is applicable to all of them, we can put the... Um, <coughs> We can put the insert password step. We can put the insert, insert password step into, as you can see, still working for all three. And problem user to logged in and um, the performance glitch. Oh, because it has a performance issue. It did not run. As I, I told you before, it would not it essentially might give us an issue because it has a cache issue itself. So it was designed that way. So it's okay for the performance glitch not to run. I think in the next class, I will just exempt the performance glitch and I would run with a uh, standard user, problem user, and uh, locked user to uh, prove, um, to teach us uh, how to um, further use um, multiple scenarios inside just one feature file so um lastly let us test one more thing let's test one more thing since insert password is the same let us cut that out as well this is for performance we can comment it out here we can remove it and for um standard steps we can also remove it for standard steps to insert password so let's be sure we have removed insert password everywhere we have removed insert password everywhere so performance to insert password has been removed so we'll take it to common steps and we'll paste it there so if we pick it up now and try to run it, it will still be able to run all three. Of course, performance would uh, already by then have um, a cache issue. <clears throat> so we will not be able to run performance because uh, it was designed to have a performance issue anyways. So we expect that we should still be able to launch the site, use the username and password successfully, you see? And the same thing would happen, happen to problem user and um, of course performance would not work. So in the next class, we would um, look at um, the verification of the problem user. I also verify using some of the explicit weights. 
Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.